going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Listen, get your favorite drink, join us around the table. We are going to be talking about fighting and defeating our giants. And it's a good one. I know God always does great ones and mm. helps us all. You know, so remember, call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729, always behind my back here, uh, above my head on a full shot, and periodically across the bottom of the screen. And so if you didn't jot it down, you have a chance, okay? Right there, there it is, right there in the back. I'm Charlene, back to Mary, your God's View host. Mm -hmm. So glad you joined us. I'm so serious about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Stacy White, she's sitting in as guest host again. We have uh, Priscilla Pruitt, and we have Lana Garner. <laughs> we all love you. Thank you for joining. Yes. And fighting or defeating your mm -hmm. giants. Yeah. I mean, some of the do's and the don'ts. What do you think? What are, what, what do you got to say about it? Oh, I just love this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we good. all got tons, so huh? Good. But, you know, in talking about giants, you always think about King David, right? Yeah. And what it did King David did when he fought the giant? He ran after that giant. Mm -hmm. He wasn't standing there shaking because he Scared. knew it. His God. Mm -hmm. And in the book of Micah 7 8, it says, When I fall, mm -hmm. I shall arise. Amen. Is there anyone out there that is falling? Mm -hmm. Anyone? If you have, then God says, You shall arise. Wait patiently on Him, and He will come through. You know, if the devil's not bothering you, apparently you are not a threat. Amen? So when the devil attacks you, you attack him back. That's right. In ministry, we always fight and we always win. win. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we've been Hallelujah. called the battle. He tells <laughs> us to put on the whole armor of God. And God, it, he never intended to fail. He never Right. intended for us mm -hmm. to fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are good in the fight of faith. Hallelujah. And, and sometimes we should get excited when we're in that battle. Mm -hmm. Because we know the victory is on the way. Oh, Amen. That's right. Amen. Call the mm -hmm. battle destined to win. Isaiah 54, 16, God says, I created Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He's nothing he but a heavenly him being. That's right. Mm -hmm. But iniquity was found in him. God didn't create him that way. And he, even Lucifer had the unmitigated gall to attack more <coughs> on God. But then Lucifer found out. That he is, God is the most high God. Amen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God. Failure and defeat is not in a believer's future. That's, That's right. right. And he mm -hmm. promised that we will prosper uh -huh. all these, that we will triumph. These are our words. Triumph, victory, winning, mm. overcoming, ruling, and reigning <coughs> are in our future. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. The world... They have tribulation. But God says, be of good cheer. Right. I have overcome the world. That's Thank right. you, Jesus. No uh -huh. problem you, for God. In, in the Amplified, I have deprived it of its power to harm you. Amen. Yeah, and you know God. that scripture that you said, I love it, because that's one that I've decreed, that mm -hmm. he said, uh, in the beginning of that, don't gloat over me, my enemy. Though I've fallen, yeah. I will rise. Oh, I love Though it. I sit in darkness, God is my light. Amen. And it goes on to say, he will take a hold of your right hand and lead you. I'll tell you, the word is powerful. And I use that because I'm thinking to the devil. You know, a lot of times he says stuff <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. And you said another powerful yeah. thing, yeah. that how he forged the weapon. And in Isaiah 54, that's another thing that I always hit me when I read the word. I See, it is oh. I who created the blacksmith yes. who fans oh. the coals into flame and forges a weapon for its work. Yes. Right. He, the thing is, is he 
like Lana said, he created Satan. Amen. That's um, right. Of course, he was Lucifer at that time, yeah. and I mean, he was uh, had worship angel and all nice that kind of stuff. Guy, he was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. Jelly decided to say, "I'm going to be better than God." Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, and then he got cast down. You know, one thing I want to say with this, um, I, I just. I just was piggybacking off of you because it was really um, bubbling up in me. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to take this, you know, on a little other journey because when we're fighting and facing giants, a lot of times when I'm facing something, um, what I do is I don't magnify or focus at all on that. Mm -hmm. Like in the middle of the night, say the enemy <coughs> tries to wake me up and says, what are you going to do about that, Sherman? Mm -hmm. That's what, right. what, 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 what's going to happen? That's I mean, right. how, how's this going to work out? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's this going to be? Because when we were building the station, believe me, that was a lot of, you know, because it was like a ton of money. Yeah. But it was all faith. And God just kept building it and building the network and doing the things. And, <laughs> and we just did it. We just mm -hmm. came yeah. like Abraham. Just go. We yeah. just go. We just do. Amen. And and in those seasons and in those times, I'll tell you, you can, how you can defeat your giant and how I did it. I started praying for everybody in the world. I started praying for those that are sex trafficked. Mm -hmm. I started praying that God... And, Mine just, I don't even know what was going on with me mm -hmm. because That's my giant was no more a giant, but all of theirs were so huge. And I, I faced my giant by facing others and helping them and praying them through and, mm. and you know, seeing them delivered because, you know, uh, that was one of the front uh, platforms of my life mm -hmm. was uh, trafficked children and babies and all this kind of stuff and and we have to pray for them we have to constantly sometimes you don't even want to think of it it's so horrific when they catch these people but that's 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 a way that I face giants mm -hmm. um, you know the word tells us that the battle is in the mind and you can read all about that in 2nd Corinthians 10 3 through 5 but you mm -hmm. have to believe here in your mind that you can actually do all things through Christ and it is He who strengthens you and that you can't do it on your own. It's not in your own strength. Mm -hmm. You can try and maybe you could achieve mm -hmm. close to it, but trust me, it's going to come back. The enemy doesn't give up. You have to do it through Him and through His strength because it is He who gives you the strength to overcome not just one giant, but any giant mm -hmm. in your life. That's right. And so do you think that David, if you read the story of King David, which is what we kind of get this, um, this message, it's kind of based on him fighting his giant, right? So if you read his story, when David fought that giant, he was, I believe, 15, right? He was young. 15 he was or 16. 15 yeah. or 16 years old. He was this young, yeah. 16, yeah. scrawny teen that mm -hmm. could... There's no way he could have slayed That's this right. giant by himself. That's no, right. this giant was in, he was fully armored. He, he knew how to fight battles. He had fought many battles. He had destroyed many soldiers. He was a big, I mean, very big giant and he knew how to fight. And so it was God who strengthened David. It was God who gave David the strength to slay that giant. And David knew that. Mm -hmm. So you can't listen to, you can't agree or believe any of the thoughts that come through your mind. You have to believe only what God speaks to you, what God says and thinks about you. And so many suggestions can come to my mind that the world puts in our minds. You know, we're bombarded with these false ideas and all these things that are uh, coming out, magazines, uh, movies, all these ideas of what we have to be and what we can do. And of course, Satan makes suggestions all the time as well. But if you choose to listen to those things instead of what the Father says about you, what the Creator who created you knows how many hairs on, are on your head, that He believes and loves you so much to go through and count every hair, and when you lose one, He even keeps track of those. <laughs> Yes, and I know yeah. I've said this before, but I love my kids, and I don't know how many hairs are on their head. You're not going to see me, you know, I love them that much. You're not going to see me go count through their hairs. But that's how much the Lord yeah. really loves Amen. you. Amen. And so wow. it says in Philippians 4, 6 through 8, don't be anxious about anything. He gives us the remedy for everything we're going through. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, mm -hmm. with thanksgiving in your heart, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, he says, if you do this, I'm going to send my peace, which surpasses all understanding, which is it's peace that you're not going to be able to understand how you're in peace during the, your situation. It's going to guard your heart and it's going to guard your mind in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Finally, brothers, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is honorable, whatsoever is just, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, 
if there's anything to be worthy of praise, think about these things. Mm. He's telling you, if you have anxiety, he's telling you, if this is your giant, let me tell you what to do if this is your giant. Focus on the little, anything, if there's anything that's excellent. It could be like, okay, I'm in this situation, the boss is awful, he hates me, but you know what? At least I have a job. I'm going to yeah, focus on that. Right. I'm going to focus truth. on this one little excellent thing. Truth. At least mm. I have a job. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I have a job. He says, focus on these things. Honestly, that is the easiest way to overcome any situation mm -hmm. is to be thankful about, even if it's tiniest thing, be thankful. That spirit of thankfulness, we're mm -hmm. going to bring, it's going to bring so much joy. You put on that, that I say thankful therapy, and it mm -hmm. is going to help you so much. Read it over yourself. Read a scripture. Find a scripture that is about your situation. It could be the smallest scripture. It could be not even about your situation, but you're going to turn it into your situation. Put your name in there. And I'm telling you, you look in the mirror, you speak that over yourself, and it rises you up. There's this courage and this faith that rises up out of you. It says in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We do not know the word. If we know the word, nothing can destroy us, but you are destroyed for not knowing the word. If we speak Speak the word over ourselves. Something rises up. It's like angels are dispatched and they fight on your behalf. So you're doing yourself a disservice by not mm -hmm. going to the word, looking up your situation, finding a scripture, speaking it. Go in the mirror. Speak it over yourself. Insert your name and watch what's going to happen. It's going to change. I speak it. I decree it and I declare it over you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's so good. <laughs> so powerful. Oh, praise the Lord. It is. It's true. I love that. There's and, nothing you know, more powerful. Thankfulness, the gratefulness, and how faith arises. Grateful heart when, keeps an open heaven. Yes. That's right. It's yes. so good. Keeps that's an open heaven. Right. That's right. And, and part of that, that's part of our, our, our armor. I mean, just, just prayer. And, you know, because I want to bring that in, too, because Lana brought in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, mm. that we're armored up. We've got to yeah. keep that armor on. Mm -hmm. And part of that armor is prayer. Mm. So we prepare for our battle knowing Jesus, knowing how big he is, who he is. And, and you know, Melissa, Melissa, Priscilla brought in brought in, you know, just thankfulness and gratefulness and thinking about all of those things that we're grateful for. Part of that too is, you know, David praised the Lord he did. and he sent the praisers before the battle. He so we praise yes. like okay. in the morning, just all the time, anytime that, that we're grateful, we're thankful, we pray, we know Jesus, we <coughs> praise him, we praise before the battle. We're, that's part of our equipment. That's part of the preparation process is knowing him and, and we have the authority in Christ. Jesus gave that to us. Mm -hmm. And so we have, you know, Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give you all the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power, not some, all the power of mm -hmm. the enemy. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Ephesians 6, 10 talks about ranks of demons. So read that. There's ranks of demons. So we have all the power over the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus in Matthew 18, 18, he gave us the keys of the kingdom to bind and loose. We've got what we need. Mm -hmm. We've got our equipment, but mm -hmm. we've got to use it. We've got to use that against the enemy to face our giants. Mm -hmm. And that really builds us up. And then I'm reminded, you know, the one thing I thought about, one of the don'ts is don't be like the seven sons of Sceva mm -hmm. in Acts 19. And the chief priest, what they did was wrong, and they got harmed. They were hurt because they were doing something that they weren't mm -hmm. supposed to do. They didn't know Jesus. They didn't have the authority, and the demons knew. Oh, and they yeah. were attacked. The demons yeah. knew and came, and came against them. And so, you know, they're trying to exercise those demons. And, and then I'm reminded of when David went to Ziglag in, mm. in uh, 1 Samuel, chapter 30. He went to Ziglag with his men and they saw what happened. Everything was burned and they took the women. They, they looted everything. They took it all and they were so upset. They were coming against David. They wanted to kill David. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the, you know, it says that he put on the ephod and he went before the Lord. He said, Lord, what do I do? He inquired of the Lord. And I love that. So before the battle, ask the Lord, what am I to do? Because mm -hmm. some battles were to fight, some battles were not to fight. Mm -hmm. The battle belongs to the to Lord. Him. 
Exactly. So David inquired of the Lord. We need to inquire of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We need to ask the Lord, what am I to do? What is my part in this? And so what happened is, is the Lord told David to pursue. He said, pursue. So we're to pursue, just like the Lord told David, yeah. pursue, overtake, and recover all. Mm -hmm. And he does the rest. And we are occupiers. Mm -hmm. We're here in this earth for a reason. We are not to let the enemy have his way at all. We're to occupy till he comes, till he comes. and we're overcomers. Mm -hmm. But inquire of the Lord, ask the Lord, have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. What battles you're to fight? Amen. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And it's the truth because we get in yeah. trouble if we're trying to fight some battle that we're not equipped or anointed to do. That's it's right. like David. Mm -hmm. He, right. when they tried to put on that armor, you can't, you yeah. can't fit into somebody else's armor and try to do something mm -hmm. and try to fight the kingdom you God has something specific that you go out to battle and I love it that she talked about Jehoshaphat because really I one of my biggest deals is a, a grateful heart keeps an open heaven mm -hmm. and it's the truth yes. we have the Israelites that wandered 40 years because why they grumbled they complained they, they sure didn't did keep saying thank you Lord mm -mm. they didn't keep saying you know it was just always this grumbling this mm -hmm. complaining and what was me he gave a manna from I mean barley bread seas he, I mean my gosh water out of rocks and and they still complained yeah. and and that's one thing that yeah. we have to when we're facing giants I always stay grateful a grateful thankful mm -hmm. praiseful heart will keep an open heaven yeah. and I say yeah. that to God that was one of our declarations uh, thank you father for um, a grateful praiseful heart that we're not grumbling complaining and ungrateful but praiseful thankful to the God who brought us out of the land of Egypt into the land of milk and honey that's one of our declarations because I live in the land of milk and honey Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody in America, even the worst street person, and I don't mean that worst, worst person, worst condition, mm -hmm. um, because street people are precious people. Many of them are at, the, at, at because they did not have any choice. Right. You know, and there's some that love to live out there. I get it. But there's a lot that are out there with no choice. And the thing is, is, wow, you got to be grateful no matter what situation you're in, where you're at, not grumble, not complain, because it will keep you in a great place. And, and where I was going with that was the condition that they're in, it's not even, like when I was in Africa, they're looking for bones on the side of the road mm -hmm. just to boil, to have something to eat. So mm -hmm. even the homeless in America has some of the best hamburgers in the garbage. You know, I mean, I'm, they have oh, something so to go find and eat, and then people will give them change and, and all those kinds of things. They don't have these things. Oh. They don't have a dentist to go to. They don't have all of these, you know, uh, programs. Oh. They have nobody. They don't have so a government true. that takes care of them. But we here in America do. And so your worst day is like the best day ever. Like, you know, people think if you live in the smallest house in America, they think you live in a mansion. That's right. Because they live in a box. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. A cardboard box. No water, no, none of the things. And so let us be grateful because it will, it will just diminish your giants. They won't have anything to cling on to to, you know, fight. Because we do. We leave something to cling on to when we start facing giants. And then we start going, woe is me. Oh, poor mm -hmm. me, you know. Yeah. Poor me. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. We all have our giants. Mm. Yes. We all have our giants, but we're mm. in the army mm. of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Mm. We are called to battle, but we are destined to win. Amen. Yeah. In the biggest battle, we c you could be in the biggest battle of your life, but brother, you're going to win. That's right. Say it. Yes. Realize who's on your side, mm -hmm. the God of heaven and earth. We refuse to say, I can't take it anymore. Saying, what you're really saying is that Jesus is not enough. He has given us the authority where we don't literally have to shoot a gun or kill somebody. Mm -hmm. But we pray that God is with us. And he, he makes sure that all of our sins are forgiven. Defeat, failure is not in your future. And the Bible says that a righteous man falls seven times, mm -hmm. but he gets up eight. So quit talking failure. 
say it's not over until I win. Why? God of heaven and earth is fighting for you. You know, Moses, there was a point there where all the, like, like Charlene said, all the children are getting very lethargic, very passive, and not doing what God wanted. But then in Joshua 1, we see where, where Joshua says, Arise! Get busy fighting. Fighting the good fight of faith. Determine you are not going to lose. Exercise your God-given authority. Amen? Mm -hmm. Enough is enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, you know, there's people right now saying to you, too, well, yeah, you say that we win. And, and all this kind of stuff, but my, my, I just lost my mother to cancer, and I believed, and I, I, I believed mm -hmm. that I was victorious, and I believed, but your mother won. Yes. Oh, your so mother right. won. The She's in the healing. ultimate winning place, and, and God just chose her to come home at this time, right. but because I don't believe the devil can take anybody's life unless they're serving him. They can't take God's people. That's up to God. God gives life, takes away life. There's a time to die. There's a time to be born in That's Ecclesiastics. Right. Satan can't take your life mm -mm. Nope. unless right. you're serving the one who takes life. And, de you know, he's yeah. full of, de you know, just, ugh. But I, I guarantee you, you, some of you do say when someone says that, I just heard it clearly, that, you know, you're thinking, oh, yeah, she says, oh, well, you win, and it's victorious, and, you know. You do, one way or the other, when you are born again and you are a follower of Jesus, whether you stay on this earth or you go to heaven, you win. You That's win, right. you know. And I still don't understand why some are healed, mm -hmm. some are not. I know. Some of my dearest friends went home to be with the Lord and the other ones were totally healed. Right. I don't know, but what I do know, is that we do have the victory that God still heals, that God is in control. You know, that's all I know. Yeah. God is God, and He is sovereign, and He's amazing. He's Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees and provides. Mm -hmm. He's Jehovah Rapha, our healer, mm -hmm. and He still is all of that. You know, I, He just is. Mm -hmm. Amen. I agree. Yeah. And I feel like there's people out there saying, like, you don't know our situation. You don't know how big it yeah. is. You don't know That's how great this feeling. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. But you guys had this. Well, I've been there. I remember there was mm -hmm. a time in 2009 that we had lost everything. We had um, three kids at the time, and I was I got pregnant with my fourth. And um, we lost everything, and we had to move in. We were homeless. We had to move in with my mother-in-law. And let me tell you, that was a big giant. It was a very big giant, mm -hmm. that situation and I felt desperate and you know what we did we sought the Lord more than ever before I remember all yeah. I did was listen to the Word of God day and night mm -hmm. literally 24 7 playing in my home I saturated myself in the Word of God all we did was speak life mm -hmm. over our situation mm -hmm. and that giant fell he mm -hmm. fell hard he busted his mm -hmm. nose when he hit the ground let me mm -hmm. tell you yeah. and that's what happens it doesn't matter how difficult the situation may seem it doesn't matter how big that giant was you know Goliath was 12 feet 9 inches and David was probably what 10 5 10 at most maybe 6 foot I'm telling you that giant seemed really big to him oh, he was right. mocking he was saying looks like the God of the Israelites is weak ha 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 look at the yeah. cowards look at all these cowards he has for for soldiers if if you if this is such a great God then his soldiers wouldn't be so afraid to take my challenge you know he mm -hmm. was mocking and that giant may be mocking you and making you afraid mm -hmm. maybe that's all mm -hmm. you think about right before you go to bed you can't sleep mm -hmm. I don't care how bad it is I'm telling you that giant will fall you stand yep. on the Word of God you speak Speak life yes. over that situation. Mm -hmm. You pray into it. Your knees may become a little, uh, what's it called, calloused, but it doesn't matter. God will change that situation and he will fall in the That's name right. of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Just well, we got, yeah. Amen. Become hostile yeah. and declare. Yes. You declare yeah. a state of war mm -hmm. on the problem, on the devil. You have victory over him. Mm. He's under your feet. That's right. Put him there. Yes. You do it. You resist the devil. He will flee. Awaken. God is saying, all our sleeping giants out yes. there, declare right. a state of war. Don't take your armor off. Amen. Not for a minute. And, and just say, you will triumph.
Amen. Those yeah. are your yeah. words. Sealed in the blood mm -hmm. of Almighty Amen. God. Amen. And with that, I just want to say goodbye today um, because we have a few other things that I'd like to say. Uh, we'd like to talk to you about becoming a partner with this ministry so we can keep coming into your home mm -hmm. and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Your donations, whether it be $5, $10, hundreds of dollars, help us do that. Yes. And right now we have a lot of different needs and we need you. If we've been a blessing to you, won't you be a blessing to us? We have a couple of books coming out that you're going to love of declarations and things that we're going to offer you mm -hmm. um, as you donate uh, and please you can get this great anointing oil at our website godsviewtvshows.com and we have the spray version or the bottle um, this way it smells great the finest of ingredients has a little pearl in there for your precious value and then this rose of sharon cap that reminds us of the rose of sharon mm -hmm. jesus mm -hmm. and so I, and then there's also some prophetic paintings there um, we still got to get your books and some other stuff up but we'll, we'll get all that mm -hmm. yeah going um, Anyways, won't you do that today? And uh, you, you can even call the prayer lines and donate that way. But there's just really easy to donate on the website. goes right through a very um, safe, secure uh, system. And you'll be helping us to help others because we give to orphans, we give to widows, we mm -hmm. do a lot, a lot mm -hmm. of things, not just just you know uh for us going on networks which is a great thing because we're reaching a lot of people a lot of people are mm -hmm. really getting touched by god and we're mm -hmm. grateful for that if you don't know jesus today just ask him into your life it'll be the best thing you ever yes, did that's right i know many of you are just weeping because you're just broken it, it, life is a mess right now you're looking at the nations you're looking at all this stuff you're looking at uh your job situation all this and you're thinking this is never going to get better don't don't look at it that way just look to Jesus okay let him work your situation out mm -hmm. you, but you got to receive him first and you just ask him to be in your life come into your heart be the Lord of your life forgive you of your sins and let him know he is the Son of God and then ask him to baptize you in the Holy Spirit with fire get your pr heavenly prayer language and it's just an amazing journey and if you did that please call 307-637-PRAY that's 7729 or just tell somebody and happy birthday and welcome into the kingdom of God we're so glad that you're going to heaven and not hell now I mean, it's a horrible torment place where everybody says oh it's a party it's not a party read about what's there the reptilians and the demons and the awful mm -mm -mm. heat and the, the, the awful oh. stuff that's down there and it's eternally I know there's people teaching that it's not eternal hell's just you know not for eternity that's a lie from the pit of hell because it's in the Bible but we have to go for today but you know we love you we love you so much and Jesus loves you remember to go to God's view TV shows dot com learn about all of us we have stuff on there about us and uh, and just Get something today, because we don't get paid. It all goes into the ministry. That's right. Remember this. God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Only goodbye for today. Love you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ.